Hey guys, today I want to take a little bit of time to talk about one of my favorite Benchmade knives that holds a special place in my collection because for the longest time it was an early grail of mine, a knife I chased, a knife I really wanted, um, a knife that was hard to come by, and I am talking about the Benchmade 940, the OG version of the Benchmade 940 in particular. It's an aluminum handle, got the purple backspacer. 20 CV blade, axis lock, very fidgety, about a three and a half inch blade, a little bit less, four, four and a half inch handle. Again, I don't have the specs, guys. You can get it off the website or out of the description, but that gives you an idea of the size of the knife and my medium to large size hand. I can get more than a four full, full four finger grip on it. Um, I can choke up on the blade. I can get up as tight as I need to to that tip which this knife was designed by Osborne, who has a background or came from the cattle ranching industry down under from what I understand. And this knife has a very unique and thick tip to it. Um, this was designed to be able to get into horse hooves and clean horse hooves out and do some light prying, even though we don't pry with our knives. This knife is more than capable for those light tasks. Um, the Benchmade 940 have been, for me, it goes great in the pocket. It's a thin knife. Um, do a couple of quick size comparisons. Look at it next to the Cold Steel 4 Max. Look at it next to the Civivi Baby Banter. It's going to be bigger than the Baby Banter and smaller than the Formax. Let's look at it next to another Benchmade, the Benchmade Bug Out. It's going to be a little bit bigger than the Benchmade Bug Out and the Spyderco Paramilitary T. It's going to be just a little bit smaller than the Spyderco Paramilitary T. But that gives you a good idea of the Benchmade 940 and its size. One more knife I'll throw up into comparison is its little brother, the Benchmade 945. The Benchmade 945 was released several years after the 940 was, and it again is the mini version. So if you look at my hand, I can still get a full four finger grip on it but I'm guessing it's closer to a three and a half inch handle and I'm guessing the blade is going to be right under three inches but besides that everything proportionately and design wise is going to be the same between the 940 and the 945. One thing that's different is the 945 has the purple uh, standoffs whereas the 940 has the purple backspacer but they both have the jimping behind the thumb stud. They both have the same width, same pocket clip, um, same nice, what I, I like the feel of the aluminum, kind of a powdery aluminum, and just both really great knives. So instead of doing a dedicated review for the 945 or overview of the 945, I figured I'd drop it in here with the 940. They're both knives that I really, really like in my collection and I know will stay in my collection. I'm a big fan of Made in USA knives. A big fan of Benchmade, and when it comes to Benchmade knives, the 940 is kind of towards the top of the list for me. So guys, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Try to get along with each other. Go forward in kindness and tolerance, and go forwards in peace. I love all y'all. Peace.